Can you say in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. Whatever that is hiding in me. That connect me with Satan. I want to command you to come out today. Okay, can you just remove that thing first? Remove that thing. Remove that thing first. Remove it. Remove that thing. In Jesus' name. I want to tell you that the reason why the Holy Spirit comes to you is because there's the word of God in you. If there's something of Satan, it invites Satan. Now we are praying a prayer of removing that thing inside you. A thing from Satan. So that when we invite the Holy Spirit to enter us here, he will stay. Can you say whatever... That connect me with Satan in my heart. In my heart. Today, Today I, confess it out. I confess it out. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Whatever that connects me. Pray, 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 pray. Whatever. That connects me with Satan. I command you in the name of Jesus. Ah! Ah! Come on, come on. In Jesus' name. If you don't allow Holy Spirit to reveal that to you, you defend yourself. You can still be in the church, but you are defeated. Have you ever found that you are owned by Satan? But you are doing everything in the church. But Satan owns you. It's possible. It's because there's something in you that connects him with him. Can you see, when you've got maybe a sin in your heart or maybe a lie or something else in you, inside you and you find that you are still doing it you are doing it habitually it becomes a habit you will pray for the Holy Spirit after when the Holy Spirit comes you still do it if the Holy Spirit comes you still do it and that in the last day you say I prophesy in what? in your name and they say, I don't know you. This is the time that now you expose everything. You ask God to reveal to you yourself. So that you'll be able to confess. You need to know yourself before you know others. Tell them, you need to know yourself before you know others. Can you pray this prayer? Ask Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, today, Reveal me, Reveal me to myself. To myself. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Reveal me to myself. I need to know myself. Or reveal myself to me. Pray that prayer. Reveal myself to me. I need to know who am I. So that I'll be able to pray. I'll be able to confess. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah.
in Jesus' mighty name. Let's, I want us to pray this prayer again. Many times, 99%, we are focusing on others. Even when we talk, we talk about others. That is why most of the time we copy others. That's the reason why you are wearing a hairstyle that looks like of someone. Because we have not found ourselves. We don't know ourselves. Holy Spirit, reveal myself to me. If you reach that point where you pray that prayer, you pray, Holy Spirit will say, no, there's something that the Father does not want, is this, you normally do it. And that thing is the stumbling block to your prayers. It's stumbling block to your visions. It's stumbling blocks to what you are doing. I'm sure you understand that. If not, you justify yourself. Have you ever found all the time, you are, you are always right. You are always right. But no one can tell you you are wrong. If someone can tell you you are wrong, you fight that person. If you reach a level where no one does not reach you, you are on your own level. You are satanic. You are already demonic. If you reach a level where you feel like everybody is smaller than you, you are what? You are demonic. Because you need to reach a level where you go back to yourself. And check yourself. Lord, reveal myself to me. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. And once you know yourself, what is happening to you? You are able to confess. Okay, there's something like this. Okay. What is we will show you? There's something like that. There's something like this. There's something like this. Can you pray this prayer for the last time? Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Today. Reveal myself, Reveal myself to me. Pray that prayer. Confess what is wrong. Confess it out if you find it. Confess it out when you find it. Confess it out when you find it. Oh, yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Once that prayer is a deliverance by itself, the prayer you've prayed now, because you are able to find, oh, I've got pride here. You confess that pride. Oh, okay. I lie here. You confess that lies. And you don't go back, oh, no. Always short temper. I know. I confess, short temper. I don't want to do that. You don't wait for someone to find it for you. Do you know that we are finding each other's mistakes too much? So now that one makes you to be perfect, because remember the scripture we have read: There's a person who spiritually cannot be judged by by the unbelievers. They can rather lie about you, but you cannot be judged because already. They don't find anything of natural in you. This is the time that we need to pray prayers like that. And God will help us. Before I show my pride, when I want to show my pride, the Holy Spirit will say, hey, this is pride. You withdraw. Say, no, I can't do that. I'm sorry, Lord, I can't do that. You want to fight. The Holy Spirit reveal to you, this is before revelations of cars, houses, money, and all those things, the character, right character in you must be revealed. Amen. If now is revealed, now you start to walk with God, enjoying God. If there's any wrong thing that can be revealed, now you confess it out. That's how you can move well before God. What is the use of having all these cars and houses? Because they were owned by someone. Even the house you are staying in, the owner is passed on. So there's no need for you to cry for that. Right now you are staying in a flat, and this flat, the owner passed on. So what you have to do now is to deal with yourself before you're passing. And so that when you are blessed, you'll be blessed indeed. Say amen. amen. Lift up your hands and ask the Holy Spirit now. 
ask the Holy Spirit after you have done that confession to touch your heart and enter your heart prayer. Ask the Father to give you Holy Spirit. Pray that prayer. Oh Father, give me Holy Spirit. Oh Father, give me Holy Spirit. Give me Holy Spirit. Give me Holy Spirit, Father, to lead me, to guide me, to counsel me. Oh, Father God. Down, 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 down. Give me Holy Spirit. Give me Holy Spirit. Give me Holy Spirit, Father. In Jesus' mighty name.